Good morning. Cinnamon bun. Um, this is definitely what my hair looks like today. So, uh, I'm gonna try and keep this super simple um, because I'm too lazy to get my tripod out and like arrange a top-down desk shot because um, I need to set up my new bullet journal and that's not what I was planning on doing today. Today's not meant to be a filming day, I have other shit to do. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna try and take you guys along for the ride as I quickly set up my new bullet journal because I have used up this entire one to the very last page and so I can't start my like daily log for today uh, until I start up this new one. Uh, this journal is really gross. It seems to get so like sticky and weird so quickly no matter how many times I clean it within like a day it just looks like that again. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but this journal has been with me since November 2019 um, and it is now July 2020 so that's a good few months. Um, I actually demarcate my months with washi tape on the edge of the page um, with black. Um, so each like black page you see there is a month and it serves me well. Um, the <laughs> when I open the, the earlier parts of this journal, um, it's almost kind of painful to be honest because yeah, my breakup began in December and it's just been... <laughs> various shades of hell at points and now it's July and obviously we've had corona and everything so yeah like the the end of this journal is fine like the more recent pages and stuff but like looking back on the earlier stuff is just like oh don't know about that so I have worked through that one to the very last page and now it's time to set up my new one my process for setting up a new bullet journal is super super quick and simple and um, because I have basically realized um, that you should only set up collections as and when you need them, not in advance, in case you might need them. Um, and so my setup is really just a future log. It's basically it. And then I dive immediately into the month and get started with my dailies and roll from there. And anything else that I might want to set up, I just do as I need it. Um, the most elaborate part of my bullet journal setup is that I do create a monthly tracker. Um, and that is, it's actually mainly for tracking my like mood and energy levels and like menstrual cycle um, and that's probably the most involved setup thing but yeah let's just let's just dive into this do we want music or ambience ambience we got focus Oh hey, it's voiceover Rachel. Um, so I'm just gonna chat a little bit while we do this. Um, I'm gonna try and talk you through what I'm doing uh, in my journal and maybe just catch you up on how things have been um, since I haven't done a lot of that recently. So I'm just starting by putting together a future log um, for this journal. Uh, I try to keep mine super simple so I just divide the page in half 
um, each month gets like a column each um, and I've really been enjoying just using like black washi tape and then this white paint pen over the top um, yeah I just like how it looks and it's pretty quick and simple to do um, so yeah the next the next few minutes are me just setting up that um, because I end up using like a journal usually lasts me about six months I tend to just do uh, entries for the next six months and then for the months after that I'll have a single page um, where I can note down any like dates or plans or events that happen further in the future than six months if that makes sense so um this <laughs> i filmed this video a while ago now um it was is it june let me check july um and it's now august so it's taken me a long time <laughs> to get around to editing this video um but we're here now so yeah, in this video you're going to see me set up my future log and then I'm going to set up my month. Um, yeah, what have I been up to? Um, it's Things are still kind of strange. Um, we did our enrolment week for the Story Magic Academy a couple of weeks ago and everything was super busy for that. Because I was also doing this new story toolkit workshop, um, which went really well, but... I also got ill in the middle of enrolment week, which is like one of the two busiest weeks of my year. I got a kidney infection and it was horrible. Um, so yeah, it was just really focused on getting through that um, and getting everything sorted for the new students and everything. Um, so now we're in, I think, week three of our semester uh, of the academy. Um, so things have chilled out a bit and I'm just kind of trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, like doing things like this, like catching up on uh, videos that I have filmed and not managed to actually edit and put out. Um, yeah, and just trying to get back to writing and stuff as well. Um, oh, what you're seeing me doing here now is that I actually like to map out all of the weeks of the year. Um, every week of the year has like a number um, and I find it helpful to like keep track of what number we're in. Um, it's kind of like a hangover from a, a job that I had where we uh, had weekly content to put out and so we'd mark everything with the number of the week. Um, I find it helpful to just uh, have them marked out as to like where I'm at with the academy and stuff. Um, and you'll see this is my like uh, future log for the six months after that. Um, and I also like to just make a note of where we are in the seasons for each of these months. Um, yeah, so much of my bullet journal stuff is just like me trying to uh, do things in a way where I can keep track of time passing it's something I struggle with is constantly just not noticing time passing or like not realizing what time or date or day or season or year we're in um so a lot of my journal is just me trying to make sense of that to be honest um so I think that's me actually finished the future log and so now we're getting into setting up um my first monthly spread in this journal which is for July um so you can oh this is a, a tarot card print that I got uh free with a tarot deck that I bought recently and um I'm out of other prints to use for my monthly spread so I just decided to stick that in um like I said as well in the beginning of this video I like to mark my uh monthly pages uh, with washi tape on the edge of the page so it's really easy for me to flip back to them. Um, I kind of prefer doing that to using 
the bookmarks uh, for some reason. I don't know. Um, yeah, so my monthly spreads are super simple um, now. Um, like in terms of art and everything, like I don't do a lot of drawing or anything. Um, I like to just use these letter stamps, um, which is a little bit more time consuming than just writing it, but I really like the way that it looks. Um, and then everything I'm doing will just be in black ink and I will just stick in um, a print or photo or something um, on that kind of like dashboard page. Um, and that I really like the juxtaposition of like the colours and things of the print um, against this really simple kind of black and white setup otherwise, if that makes sense. So yeah, this has been my standard setup for a long time now. It's just like on the left hand page, I stick in a print. Um, sometimes it's kind of seasonal. So uh, I'll pick an image that makes, that evokes the month or the season for me. Um, sometimes I'll just do whatever I'm feeling like or something that inspires me. Um, in this case, I was like, this is just something I have to hand and it's cute. So we'll just use that. Um, yeah, and now I'm writing up my monthly calendar, um, which I tried and keep super simple as well. And now we're just moving on to my cycle tracker. Um, Apparently I jumped ahead to actually starting my daily log because there was things I wanted to write down. Um, yeah, so my cycle tracker, I guess it's it's just one big tracker, really. Um, and that's probably the most elaborate part of my setup. Um, I use this kind of graph box to track my mood um, and a couple of different things. So I tend to, I use these like four different, I guess like vectors <laughs> or variables on a scale of one to ten. Um, so I track my energy levels um, on a scale of one to ten, uh, my social energy on a scale of one to ten, and then um, my mood in both like uh, how happy or content or versus like low I am on a scale of one to ten, and then uh, like stress, so like how calm versus anxious I am. Um, and I just use a couple of different colors for that. Um, I also just like to mark the when the full moon is um, because I do tend to find that affects my mood a little bit. Um, yeah, this is just me writing a little key for the graph with the colors that I use. Um, and this is what my uh, all set up tracker looks like, it's empty. I was doing this setup in the middle of the month, so that's why you can see the top part is kind of uh, scored out because I won't be filling that in. Um, and just adding uh, some things for today to my daily log, including uh, this journal setup. So at this stage, uh, that's basically all of my spreads, like blank spreads set up. Um, I'm just adding some dates and stuff to my calendar um, and now it's into actually doing the migration part so like actually populating everything with my tasks and uh, schedule and stuff like that. So my first step with that is always to set up a new uh, mental inventory. Um, if you don't know what a mental inventory is uh, it's an official like bullet journal method technique from the book, the bullet journal method. Um, it's basically a brain dump uh, into a couple of different categories. Should be working on, want to be working on, and then I like to just put other for the final one. Um, and I just use that for notes that I come across as I'm culling through my previous month. So the first thing that I do is go through every entry for the previous month um, 
mark down any events that I want to like be able to see again um, and also just look for open tasks so things that I never got done um, and I'll copy everything that's kind of left over onto the mental inventory um, and just kind of take stock of how that month was. Um, I've certainly not been like I like to do a monthly review uh, ideally um, this year there have been a lot of months where I've skipped that because to be honest I haven't particularly wanted to look that uh, closely at the month I've just had so a lot of it's been really hard um, but I decided to do one for this setup again um, so yeah I kind of like look through all of my daily logs and uh, spreads and stuff for the previous month and just do a little kind of roundup um, make a note of like what were the challenges this month um, what were some of the biggest things that I achieved this month um, things that I learned stuff like that just kind of summarizing the experience of the month um, which I do find really helpful because again like I say I find just acknowledging the passage of time important so once I've like culled through uh, the previous month and done my review and added like the leftover or migration stuff to the mental inventory I'll then um, just like do like a current mental inventory so fill out the rest of it just like doing a brain dump of everything that I can think of that I want or need to get done to just get it all out there um, and then it'll be a process of like going through each of those things and prioritizing and asking myself is this something that is really important or that I really want to do or do I just feel like I should um, and then from there transferring stuff over into my to-do lists for the month um, and then once I've done that transfer that's basically it that's that's my setup done um, and I'll just like, often get rid of that mental inventory as well um, yeah so here is the final flip through of my setup we've got the future log with the months that we've got coming up a couple of important dates and then we have my July spread my monthly calendar and my tracker and then it just goes straight into my daily log okay well I think we're done I have set up the new journal set up this month um, migrated everything over started my daily log for today and um, now I get to use a nice clean new journal um, and I can get on with actually doing some of the things that I have listed in there. I don't know when the hell this is going to come out, so I don't really know what to, else to say on the end of this video. Um, that's it really. Um, I know it's been a long time now since I've done a bullet journal video. Um, and it's mainly just because, like, it's nothing fancy anymore. It's just paste in a picture for the month and everything else is just, like, black ink. Um, and it's basically the traditional bullet journal system. It's not very fancy. I hope you enjoyed spending a little bit of time with me and my journal and I'll see you soon.